Alexa, Alexa, stop. Hey guys, what is up? Sorry, I'm really thirsty. I just realised I look like I have a bob, but I'm kind of here for it. Like, it looks kind of cute. Um, hold on. Isn't the first sip when you open a fresh, cold can of drink just the best? I love, this is like my favourite, 7-Up Free, that's a lie, my favourite is Coca-Cola, but Coca-Cola has got too much sugar in it, <laughs> you know when you drink something really fizzy it makes you go a bit, Ugh. anyway, hi, hello, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new to my channel, then hi, um, today I thought I would do a video, I feel like it's going to be pretty quick, it's basically, I put this on my TikTok. I'm going to just roll the TikTok now. And so many of you have been asking how to do this. And I wasn't going to do a video because I thought it's just really, it is really simple. But then I was just like, maybe it's simple because I know how to do it. Maybe if you don't know how to do it, you just don't know how to do it. So I'm gonna tell you how to do it because it is really simple. Um, okay, so when I actually did this, I actually did it on Photoshop because I use Photoshop a lot. I've used Photoshop since I was a child. Like, I know how to use Photoshop. So I just do it on there because it's on my Mac and it's just easy just to go on there and do it. But I was thinking about it and I know there'll be an app I can find to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna just record my phone screen and put it next to me here. So the apps that I think, well not I think, I know that you'll be able to do this in. So hopefully you already have one of these. If not, you can just pick which one you want. Okay, so you're gonna be able to do it in PixArt, in Light, over, um, and you also probably would be able to do it in InShot. So obviously you need a picture of yourself or whatever you want to make into the campaign. Obviously I did it with myself. And no, I don't think I could be in one of these campaigns. Like that was not the point of the little thing. It was just something cool. But yeah, so first of all, you want to obviously get some images that you think would work well. I kind of picked images that I thought kind of suited a brand. Even though obviously these are just my Instagram photos, they're not freaking Prada campaign shots or anything. But I just picked ones that I thought could potentially, could potentially be there, you know? Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do it in Over because I feel like I did a video about Over, about something else recently. Um, so I feel like most of you will have that app. Okay, so open Over, which is um, this like yellow one. And then... We are going to open our photo. Let's just go to the album that we created. Um, and then I'm going to do this one. So then you just want to crop it so it fits and it's just like that. Because otherwise, obviously, people are going to know it's from Instagram. Okay. And then once you've got your image in over, you're going to click image again. And you're going to take, you're going to basically type in Safari what you want. So we've typed in white center on logo transparent background. And usually when they're white transparent, they kind of look like, why is that highlighted? How annoying. No, I don't want to click that. Thank you. Okay, you see that one there that's white on black? Usually that will be transparent. So if you click on it, you can see it's actually gone transparent. So you just want to hold that down and add to photos. What the hell is this bit of hair doing? Um, right, then we're going to go back to over. We're going to click on image and then we're going to, huh, did I not just save that? Oh, recent. Okay, it's there. You couldn't see it because it's white, but it was that, obviously the last image. And then there's your logo. So just put it however big or small you want it and where you want it. For this, I did Google um like 
set it on ad campaigns and then just look at like roughly where they put it. So you can see the majority of them, it just goes like bang in the middle and it's usually in white. So that's what we went for. Um, I then did, um, obviously I did this on there, but I went to, a, um, where is it, opacity. And I just brought it down slightly, so it gave it that kind of a little bit translucent effect. I didn't do this on all of them, but I think it worked really well on this particular one. So then it looks like that. Maybe should we go for the middle? Yeah, maybe we should have got rid of Paris. But I don't think I can do that on here now. Oh, yeah, maybe I can. There they go. Does that look better? Yeah, maybe that looks better. Um, just put it in the middle so then you have that you could maybe with this one did I make the image black and white um, no I don't think I did but you could but that that is how easy it is to do so I'll do you one more just so you can see so you'd obviously just go ahead and save that um, let's do another one just so you can see so add add image go to our album that we made um, let's do, um, I actually really liked how this one came out. I did this one, um, let's make it the right size and then crop it in like so. Okay, and then for this one, I actually did Dolce & Gabbana, which I, is not really a brand that I wear. I have pants. <laughs> transparent pen. so type that in go to images and I went for one did I go for black or white I think I went I think I went for black um, so that one's transparent so add to photos just so you know sometimes they look transparent like this one for example looks transparent it's not you really want to go for the ones that look on this main page as white, but then when you click on them, they go transparent, like that. So that's really what you want. Okay, back into over, add image. Oh, maybe that one wasn't transparent. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, I feel like maybe it should have been in white. Hmm, I think it needs to be white. Okay, no. Okay, back into Google, and let's go white. I wonder if they even, there's that one, but oh here. Yeah, it's quite, as I said, hard to see in the white, but it, it is there. So when you, there, you see, is that little bar there, okay. And then you put that across the top or wherever you want it. Um, and again, I just put the opacity down a bit because I just think it looks more like it's part of the image. Should we go middle again? Um, where do they put them? Let's have a look. Oh, okay, it's in the bottom. Bottom. Um, big, but on the bottom. Okay, most of these are actually on the bottom. So, I didn't do that before, but let's put it on the bottom if that's where they want it to be. So let's put it there. I think it looks way better in the middle, personally. I think it looks much better like that. But we can go for here, just to make it more authentic. So like that, and then just saved camera roll so that's how quick and easy it is to do i'm just going to stop recording my phone screen so that's how quick and easy it is to do guys it's just something fun like it's nothing serious <laughs> um but you guys want to know how to do it and i do think it looks really cool and especially really fun for a tiktok if you recreate the tiktok i did then obviously tag me on tiktok my tiktok's at tashi tinks can i say tiktok one more time um oh yes it did record perfect um but yeah, I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.